Hi everyone, welcome to Sari Will Japan. Uh, in today's lectures, I want to talk about the working holidays in Japan. The Japan closed the borders after coronavirus spread, it, but now the Japan is open for the foreigners and a lot of the tourists and, uh, are coming to the Japan. And for those who are planning to come to Japan with a working holiday visa, I want to explain you about the income taxes and the social insurances. Let's talk about the income taxes. If you make an income in Japan, you have to pay the income taxes. For the resident, the income tax rate is progressive. So starting from the 5%, and then highest tax rate is 40%, 45%. On the other hand, non-resident, I mean, non-resident mean the people who will stay in Japan less than one year. So, the, if you come to the Japan with a working holiday visa, you will be treated as a non-resident and the income tax rate is fixed at 20.42%. So even if your income is not high, you need to pay the 20.42% of the income taxes. And when you receive the salary from your employers, the employer will withhold the income taxes from your salaries and pay to the tax office. The next topic is about the health insurance and the pensions. In Japan, all people are covered by the health insurance. So if the people go to the hospital, the people pay only 30% of the cost. Uh, because 70% of the cost is covered by the health insurance. Also, the health insurance can be applied to the medicine and also the dentist, which is great. Uh, by the way, the Cosmetic surgery and uh, supplements are not covered by the health insurance. The other things you have to remember is the pensions. In Japan, the people who are 20 years old or more need to pay the pension. And if the people pay the pension for more than 10 years, they can get the pensions after they reach the 60 years old. But if you are coming to Japan uh, by working holiday visa, you will not pay the pension for more than 10 years and receive the pension after you reach 60. But even in such a case, uh, you need to pay the pension because the paying pension is mandatory. However, uh, if you pay the pension for more than six months, uh, after you leave the Japan, you can claim a refund of the pension. Also, the Japan has a social insurance treaty with some countries so you can combine the pension, the period uh, you pay the pensions in Japan and the period you pay the pension in your country. So go check the social insurance treaty. I also want to explain you about the two types of the health insurance and the pension. It depending on your employment conditions. The first one is a national health insurance and national pension. When you register address at the city hall, uh, the city hall will send you the, the bill for the health insurance and the pension later. Then you pay by yourself. That, that is the first type. The second type is employees health insurance and the pension. If you satisfy the two conditions, you will be enrolled into the employee's health insurance and pension. The first condition is your working hours is more than three-fourths of the full-time employee of that company. Usually, the Japanese company's working hour is 40 hours. So if you work more than 30 hours per week, you, you will satisfy the first condition. The second condition is employment period is more than two months. Then if you satisfy these condition, these two conditions, your employee, your employer will enroll you into the employee's health insurance and when they pay your salaries, they will deduct the health insurance and the pension and pay to the pension office. At the end, uh, I want to explain you about uh, how much salary you can actually receive by using the example. Let's say your monthly salary is 200,000 Japanese yen, 20.42% of the income taxes, uh, which will be about 40,000 Japanese yen, will be deducted. Then, health insurance and pension 
about 280,000 Japanese yen will be deducted. Uh, by the way, health insurance and the pension amount will be different depending on how much salary you make. The net payment will be about 131,000 Japanese yen. Seems like uh, a lot of the deduction. This is all about today's lectures and I hope you enjoy Japan. See you next time.